Johnny is good. And all the time. God is good. All the time. He put a song. God is good, and all the time, God is good. Praise the Lord, everyone at home. Right now, uh, we thank God for bringing us this far, and thank you for every child who is watching us there at home. Thank you for our parents, our daddy, our mommy, for giving us this opportunity to be able to hear the word of God. And today, uh, I'm here with Sierra, one of our Sunday school kids, and I'm teacher Victor. And before we start, let Sierra pray for us, please. Thank you. Okay, let's pray. Oh God, thank you for bringing us this far. And please um, bless us and protect each and every one of us who's out there. And please help us go through this pandemic safely and bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Sierra, for opening the word of prayer with us. Thank you very much. So, uh, last week, uh, Teacher Maureen taught us about the way the children of Israel, Israel crossed the Red Sea. And today we are going to talk about um, the way the children of Israel survived on the other land after the Red Sea. And that land is the desert. Now, uh, Sierra, what do you find in the desert? Um, we can find things like sand. Sand, very cactus, good. Cactus, very camels. good. Camels, very good. Mm -hmm. Another thing? Um, we can find scorpions. Scorpions. And most of the time, the desert... Wait, teacher. Yes, yes. I have a question. Yes, yes. Um, how did the Israelites, were they able to survive through the desert? Wow, that's a very nice question. How did they survive on the desert? Once and uh, of all, in the desert, most of the time, we don't, not even most of the time, we don't have houses there. And another thing is, when you're in the desert, it's like a place that you don't have even, you won't know the direction, but listen to how uh, God directed the children of Israel. We are going to read in the book of Exodus, chapter uh, 13, uh, verse 20 to 22. And it tells us that um, the Israelites left Shako, Shakoth, uh, Sakot, and camped at Etham on the edge of desert of the desert. During the day, the Lord went in front of them in a pillar of clouds. 
to show them the way. And during the night, he went in front of them in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel night and day. The pillar of clouds were always in front of the people during the day and the pillar of fire at night. You see, the way God guided the children of Israel when they were in the desert was they, provide, they provided them the cloud, which was to guide them in the day, and they provided them also the fire, which was uh, burning in the night to show them the way. And we thank God for that because in every situation that we are as children and as everyone, God is there to support us, especially uh, when he promises. He is a God who fulfills the promise. Say God is a God who fulfills the promise. God is a God who fulfills his promise. Yes, very good. Do you have any other question? Yes. Yes. How did the children, were they able to get food? Oh, wow, wow. That's a very nice question again. Thank you, Sierra. I hope everyone home there, they are listening to this and they are learning from what we are trying to learn from the Bible, from the Word of God, telling us about the way the children of Israel survived in the desert. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, tell you Sierra also to read for us Exodus chapter 16, verse 12. It is going to guide us on how the children of Israel survived as far as when food and what they were supposed to eat is concerned. Thank you. Exodus chapter 16, verse 12, it says, I have heard the complaints of the Israelites. Tell them at the twilight they will have meat to eat, and in the morning they will have all bread they want, all the bread they want. Then they will know what I, I the Lord, am their God. Wow, very good. You hear now the question that you've asked about what they, they, what they ate. Remember, there was a time that in some days when they were still going and the pillar of clouds was, uh, w was helping the children of Israel to, as they were traveling in the day and at night there was this uh, pillar of fire which was burning. As time goes by, they were uh, unhappy. Why? Because they were hungry. They had nothing to eat. And God told Moses that I've heard their prayer and I'm going to provide them a special bread in the morning and the special meat in the evening, which is at night. And the, the way God provided this was by giving them the special bread, which was manna. I believe that time it was really sweet, like a bread, you see, <laughs> like cakes. Do you love cakes? Yes. Ah, I, ca I can imagine probably that man was looking like a cake, like vanilla. Which type of cake do you love? Uh, chocolate. Ah, chocolate, yeah. So you see, but at, at night, evening hours, there were a special type of bread, a uh, type of uh, meat that God used to provide. And that type of meat was bad which was called uh, quills and God provided for at the end of the day it provided for meals in the morning mm -hmm. and provided for uh, the uh, the meat in the evening and you see the way God provided we thank God because at the end of the day in all the complaints that probably uh, the children of Israel had God provided because at the end of the day the thing that God wanted the children of Israel to fulfill was the promise that he promised Abraham that I'm going to take my children to the promised land from Egypt to through the Red Sea where there was a miracle that water was being separated now in the desert where God helped the children of Israel to be one in good place that they, they are having direction the, the good direction through which what and what to, uh, the direction god used what to to give them direction moses and moses but there was something that god provide <laughs> that god used to show them direction in the day the sun uh, there was a cloud and in the night the stars there was the the, the fire so you see, God provided both those ones to help them have the right direction. 
the same way well god when you have a certain challenge in your life and you pray god to give you direction he will give you direction both in the day and at night both at the time when you're happy and the time when you're sad then we we learned again children about um, how the children of israel were able to survive as far as even having something to eat and in the morning what god god provide in the morning uh, bread bread which was in the form of manna right mm -hmm. what about in the evening meat meat which was in the form of quills wow very good so we thank god for all that that god provided and at the end of the day we will know that with god nothing is impossible and when he promise he fulfills he's a god of promises and he's a god of fulfillment okay mm -hmm. so today um we thank you parents for uh, allowing your ch your children to be with us today and to guide them in their every day's work regardless of the situation that we have right now we thank god for providing us this opportunity and this technology that is taking us far to share his word and before we finish let me pray for today thank you let's pray so our hands together children at home our eyes we close our heads we bow let's pray dear and everlasting father we come before you this morning with thanksgiving thank you lord for the Father that you brought us, regardless of the things that are going on in our lives, as far as the coronavirus or COVID-19, Lord, I know this thing is there, and Lord, you are there to help us to be able to be able to listen to your word, regardless of the distance. And thank you, Lord, for your love that surpasses understanding. Thank you, Lord, for the word of the day that you've showed us that the children of Israel were able to be guided and to be helped accordingly and yes lord today we are praying for your guidance and we pray for your supply thank you lord for your love and thank you for guiding us for we pray this trusting and believing in jesus name amen thank you sierra for coming today and bye children say bye, bye. to everyone <laughs> god bless you god is good and all the time, God is good. God is good. All the time, He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. Yes, He is. All the time. Through the darkest night, His light.